Are you curious about Andromeda and whether you are an Andromedan starseed? Well, I am, and so is my twin flame, Steph, so you've come to the right place. Today I will go over what Andromeda and Andromedans are, if you are an Andromedan starseed, so signs, and make sure to stay until the very end of the video because I will also share signs, like, like physical signs, that you are an Andromedan and your mission here on Earth. I'm Julia and I teach starseeds like you how to step into their power and mission, so make sure to subscribe. Our planet is going through a transition period right now from a third dimensional planet to a fifth dimensional. It's a big moment in our universe's history. Mother Gaia needed help and a call was sent out. Souls from all over the universe signed up by incarnating on Earth in a human body to help humanity through this transition, including our neighboring galaxy Andromeda. This spiral-shaped galaxy that you can find in the northern sky is around 2.5 million light-years away. It's a very diverse galaxy and it's the home of not only Andromedans, but also Pleiadians, Syrians, Lyrans and the highly intelligent Silver Dolphins. Andromedans are a beautiful, heart-centered race. Most of them are 12th dimensional. However, when they incarnate here on the dense Earth, they become third dimensional like all the Earthlings. Andromeda is watching us. The Andromedans believe star seeds and their work is very important because what happens on Earth impacts other galaxies. They're dedicated to bringing new technologies and holistic forms of healing to the whole universe. They also strive to assist other star nations to live in peace and unity. Here are 10 signs that you are an Andromedan starseed. The first sign is that you have a very good balance between your masculine and feminine energies. It's really interesting, I thought about this lately, so I see myself as very feminine, very nourishing, I'm a good listener, I'm good at um, self-care, taking care of myself, a motherly energy I would say. But then in my twin flame connection with Steph, I'm actually the divine masculine. I was the so-called runner, if you know about twin flames. Well, he has been more like the chaser dynamic. And then Steph, who's also an Andromedan starseed, he, I would say, has a very masculine energy, but he's also very in touch with his feminine energy. He takes time to meditate, to do yoga and go within, which I find is quite rare nowadays with men. And the reason why Andromedan starseeds have that balance is because most of them are very high vibrational, so up to 12th dimensional. And when you when you ascend to that level, you have quite an Andromedan... Ad androgynous energy. <laughs> Yay, I did it. Sign number two is that you crave freedom. This is the biggest sign, I would say. Um, Andromedans love the thought of living off-grid, um, being their own bosses, having no boss tell them what to do. <laughs> That's why many of us are entrepreneurs or have aspirations to become entrepreneurs. And many of us try to reduce our tax bills in any ways that we can because we don't want to contribute to the corrupt governments. So freedom is important on all levels for us. Um, another way that this shows up in our life is that we are preppers. We like to stock up and have what we need to be self-sustainable in case that something would happen so that we can have the total freedom and not be um, and not be stuck somewhere dependent on the government, for example. Because you value freedom so much, you might have struggled to maintain long-term relationships. That's how it's been for me. And you might have moved around a lot to different countries or you've been traveling a lot, maybe backpacking a lot. Um, you always had a desire for traveling. But as you ascend, you kind of find that freedom within. So you find a less need to travel. And you put down your roots. For example, we're buying a house now, which two years ago I would have been like, why would I buy a house? Um, but I've come to that point now. Sign number three is that you appear confident, but you might be struggling with self-love issues. So this was definitely a big thing for me. Uh, also for Steph, he struggled with that in the past. Another Andromedan starseed that I've talked to struggled with this. It's the feeling that nobody will care what you have to say, that it's not important enough, so you rather just say, say nothing. But as you ascend, you realize that you have lots to share with the world and people do care about your opinion. 
So this is just an initial hurdle that you someday get over if you haven't already. Sign number four is that you are strongly connected to the water and nature. So just like me, you'd probably never want to live in a landlocked country. I live 30 minutes from the beach. I always have in in, I think all countries I've lived in, I've never been far away from a beach. Or if you're living in landlocked countries, you, then you want to be close to the rivers, the lakes, nature. You couldn't live like, in the middle of Hong Kong where the only grass is grass that only uh, dogs pee on. And um, apparently you're seen as funny and it's like awkward if you step on that grass or sit in that grass because you just get dog pee on you. <laughs> Me and Steph actually live on the countryside, so we're surrounded by fields and also the sea. So that is perfect for Andromedans. And that is a huge sign that you are an Andromedan star seed. Sign number five we touched on earlier, and that is that you love to travel. You probably have a dream board going on with different destinations or a bucket list. And the reason why Andromedans love to travel so much is because They've been on these advanced spaceships that very quickly can take you from point A to B. So they're used to going like boom, 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 boom. So many Andromedan star seeds are nomads and long-term travelers or just have that urge to go traveling. And that's actually how I met my twin flame Steph uh, because we were both nomads. The next sign is that you are a teacher and a guide. So you're very wise and you have a lot to share with the world. And this is because Andromeda is one of the oldest galaxies in the universe. So Andromedans are one of the wisest star races out there. You might have heard that um, the Pleiadians are our future selves. Well, the Andromedans are our future, 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 future self. There's a lot of wisdom there in the Andromedan starseed soul that uh, needs to be shared with the world. So many Andromedans have missions similar to mine, uh, creating YouTube videos, creating blog posts, uh, being coaches and, and healers, and really sharing that knowledge and wisdom with the world. Next sign is that you are both creative and logical. And as you know, that is a very rare combination on Earth. Usually you're either, either left-brained or, or right-brained. For me, this was always a thing. Like I, I've always been super creative. I always loved like, drawing and coming up with funny projects and videos, sketches. But I've also been quite technical and loved computers, for example. And that's why being a blogger and YouTuber has been so good for me, because I get to um, use cameras and other technical equipment, which I love. But I also get to be creative and create these videos. Creativity is a sign that you are very high vibrational. Andromedans, on top of that, are masters of science. So this is why this is a huge sign that you are an Andromedan starseed. The next sign is that you are drawn to ancient civilizations. This could be ancient Egypt, Atlantis and Sumeria. You might feel called to travel to spiritual destinations with high energy, such as Machu Picchu and the Great Pyramids of Egypt. I sure did. You probably have watched documentaries and read books about these topics. And the reason why you feel drawn to these places is because you might have had previous lives in these civilizations. Many Andromedans have. It is actually speculated that the winged humans in Sumeria depicted in reliefs and statues were Andromedans. My spiritual awakening actually happened when I got my hands on the book uh, Fingerprints of the Gods by Graham Hancock, where he talks about the real history of Earth and many th things are kind of being hidden from the public by historians, and it's super interesting. He talks a lot about Egypt and that the pyramids and the Sphinx are much older than we think, and the same with Machu Picchu, etc. Highly recommend. Sign number nine is that you don't have much of an ego. Uh, it's so funny because my guys actually told me you have too little of an ego. <laughs> you don't realize how powerful you are. So you don't have that need to manipulate and control other people that is so common here on Earth. You just want to be of service and want to help Earth in any way you can. And this is because Andromedans are extremely union consciousness oriented, much more so than other races. And that's because it's so far away from other places. So there's not really much enemies or conflicts. So they're very spiritual and loving without much ego. The tenth sign that you're an Andromedan starseed is that life on Earth can feel really shitty sometime. You can become very frustrated with how how Earth is run and you of course you ride through the corrupt governments and the elite and sometimes you just want to get away from it all and you're just dreaming of living off-grid where you're not dependent on any governments and nothing like that. 
And the reason why Earth is extra difficult for Andromedans is because the reptilians who, as you might know, rules Earth, their worst enemy is Andromedans. So there is this big friction there. I've talked to many Andromedans who live in the mountains, in the forest, they own a farm. This is very common in us Andromedans because they want to be self-sufficient and uh, be close to nature and far away from society. So the next question on your mind might be, so how many Andromedans are there here? Is it rare? Is it, is it not rare? There's many more Pleiadians um, on Earth. Andromedans are quite rare of the most common types. So around 800,000 Andromedans are on Earth right now, while there are a million of Pleiadians on Earth right now. But if you're watching this video, that definitely brings up the likelihood that you're an Andromedan as you probably wouldn't have clicked on this video otherwise. But if this doesn't resonate or you're curious to learn more how to know that you are an Andromedan starseed for sure, then definitely check out my starseed origin webinar. It's completely free here on YouTube, so check it out. And now on to the mission. What is the mission of Andromedan starseed here on Earth? Why are we here? The mission of Andromedan starseeds on Earth is to finally bring peace to Earth, so it's no longer enslaved by the reptilians. The exact mission varies from starseed to starseed, but usually it's some sort of guiding or science mission. In a channeling, I was told that my mission was to be a guidance counselor for humanity and involve creativity, knowledge and uh, wisdom. So I suspect also that many of you have similar missions. And now onto a fun thing. So that is how does Andromedan Sarsis look like? Is there a certain body characteristics? Let's dive into that. Most Andromedan Sarsis have an oval shaped face like me and many also have problems putting on weight so quite a thin body type another common physical sign is that they stand out so a lot of tattoos for example or piercings for example my my twin flame he has his whole body covered in tattoos so they're not scared of uh, standing out but this is not for all andromedans and the reason why they can have this bold look is because they can be a bit rebellious andromedan star seeds so it's reflected in their style but just like with any other star seeds appearances can vary so if you let's say have a very easy time to put on weight or you have more of a round face you can still be andromedans these are just a few signs you so you have to look at the full picture do you think that you're an andromedan star seed or where do you think you're from? And if you're still not sure, then definitely check out my webinar. It's completely free on YouTube, um, where you can find out your exact soul origin with no questions asked, like you'll know exactly which one. So definitely check that out and have a beautiful day.